Shalom ya Shalom Shalom All praise is all glory All power To Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Akar Kodash Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone with Teach on the Mula, Peace and Salutation. The document of the fellow laborers of hopeful light, pushing his truth and risking all lives to the four corners of the earth. To the awkward listener and listener and learning shall be won. To Brother Shema, to Elizabeth Benjamin. Here in Toronto with another lesson. Week in, week out, we come out here and prophesy the downfall of America the Great, Babylon the Great, and preach repentance to Israel. Israel being a people before a place. We'll get right into it. Get right into it. All right. Got a lot going on in this place. And Jake don't know. Right? Because the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding of who Jake is has been taken away. The Lord ultimately took it away, man. You know? Right? Jake don't know. Jake has no idea. Jake has no idea who they are. Jake out here committing folly. Right? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 2, verse 3. For behold, the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh, of hosts, armies. Right? Yahweh Shemel Shai is the Lord of hosts, Lord of armies, man. Right? Thou take away from Jerusalem. And from Judah, right, Israel as a whole. Jerusalem is a, the northern kingdom. You so-called indigenous, you so-called Latino, you so-called Negro, right? It's you, right? So the Mosai took something away from you. What did he take away? The stay and the staff, right? The whole, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water, right? Bread being the knowledge, water being the wisdom, man. Right? So two-thirds, two-thirds of our people out here have no knowledge, no wisdom, no understanding. Clues, clueless as to what's going on, man. Right? Jake out here, Jake out here getting ready to mirth it up, you know? We're still in the Passover, we Passover just passed, right? But Jake sees, Jake see a little glimpse of some good weather, right? And they feel that, uh, See that you can see their spirit, their, their spirits are in, in the house of mirth, right? Meanwhile, the Lord, the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai is sharpening a sword. Ecclesiastes 7, verse 4. The heart of the wise, heart being mine, lab. The Hebrew word for heart is lab, being mine. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, right? Us in this truth, we have that, the, 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 the our, our minds are on. We're not mirthing it up, man. Right? We're not mirthing it up. Right? We see we see our people perish for the lack of knowledge. Ultimately, it's the Lord's will. Two thirds are going to get rejected. But our eyes are our eyes are on the kingdom that's coming, man. Our eyes is on the destruction that's coming. Right? But the heart of fools, heart being minds, and who who are the fools? Two thirds of our people out here. Man. Fools pass by, fools pass by every day, man. Daily fools pass by. Right? But the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth. And that's where Jake's mind's at, man. Mirth. Jake getting ready to party. Jake wanna know where the spot, where the, where the spot, where the spot is. What's the movements? What's the motive? Right? During, during lockdown, Jake was all about the uh Online streaming of uh, mirth parties, man. Right? <laughs> Partying online. 
DJs were spinning spinning records, man. Right? DJs had whole sets. Zoom parties, dance parties. That's the heart, that's the heart of mirth, man. Meanwhile, the Lord, the Lord, the, the Lord, Yahweh Bashemi and Shai is systematically taking this place out, man. Piece by piece. Right? Repent. Isaiah 3. Verse 2. The mighty man and the man of war. Right, Yashrael ain't got no army. Yashrael is not sovereign. Right? That's how you know, that's how you know these uh uh, uh 48ers aren't, aren't aren't who they claim to be. Right? Yashrael don't have no tanks, no military. Right? We're in the land of our captivity, subject to payments. Right? And the Lord's about to the Lord's about to flip it. Right? Jacob troubles Jacob troubles on our doorstep, man. Right? Isaiah 3 verse 2 once again The mighty man and the man of war The judge and the prophet And the prudent and the ancient Right? The mighty man and the man of the war The judge and the prophet Right? Yashua is not keeping their laws Yashua is not judging Right? Who are the seers? The seers are, 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 are the men of the Lord Blowing the trumpet Crying aloud, sparing not Telling you what's to come Right? The hopeful elect Lord willing out that number Right? What else did it say? The prudent and the ancient. Ain't no what? Ain't no wisdom in, 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 in two thirds of our people out here. That's God. This is why two thirds of our people are lost. Isaiah 3, verse 2. Verse 3, Salah. The captain of 50, and the honorable man, and the counselor, and the cunning artificer, and the eloquent orator. All that's been taken away from Yasharallah, man. Right, all that's been taken away from Jake. Jake don't know who they are. Verse 4, Isaiah 3, verse 4. And I will give children to be their princes and babes to rule over them. Right? Who's, who, who's ruler, ruling over in Israel? Israel being a people before a place. You so called indigenous, you so called Latino, you so called Negro. Right? Isa. Right? Esau came from us. Right? Jump down to 12. Isaiah 3 verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy paths. Right? So we're under the rule of the wicked. And we're under the rule, we're under the rule of feminists. Queendom. Right, which can't, which can't, which can't, um, uh, I can't make it. Let's get a quick scripture. Sirach 3. That's why Esau broke the household, took the man out of the household. Sirach chapter 3, verse. Sirach chapter 3 Verse 9 And it reads For the blessing of the father Establish the house Establish it the houses of children Right That's order man Right In Corinthians it says uh, The head of every The head of The head of Hamashiach is the Lord Is, is Yahweh and the head of the man is Hamashiach. And the head of the woman is the man. We'll get that next, Lord willing. So, a queendom, right? It, it, it can't work, man. Sirach 3, verse 9, once again. For the blessing of the father establishes the houses of children, but the curse of the mother rooted out foundations. Right? A woman can't rule, man. This is the scripture saying this. It's not my opinion. This is the scriptures. Right? Right? The head of every house, let's get that. So we're in a backwards 
upside down. We're in a backwards, upside down uh, queendom, man. Right? Eve is, is Esau's henchman. Right? First Corinthians 11, verse 3. And it reads, But I would have you know that the head of every man is a Mashiach. And the head of the woman is the man. Right? This is the order. Right? And the head of a Mashiach is Yahweh. Thus says the scriptures, man. But Esau turned that upside, upside down, man. Let's get that. Isaiah 5. Verse 20, and it reads, Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Right, Esau did this, man. Woe unto them, destruction. Right, scriptures say destruction. Right? That's why Jake out here lost. Jake have no idea what's going on. And Jake's not taking heed. Jake's not taking heed, man. Jake don't want to hearken. Back into Isaiah chapter 3. Back into Isaiah chapter 3. Verse 5. And the people shall be oppressed, every one by another. Right? Who's oppressed? Yasharala, Israel. Israel being a people for a place. And every one by his neighbor. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient and the base. Against the honorable, right? And we see that in Esau's kingdom out here, man. See these GMO babies out here? No manners, no respect. <laughs> they don't reference the ancient. Right? That's why everything's off. Right? That's why the Mosai, Yahweh, Shemim, Hashai has to reset this place, man. Everything's off. Ecosystem's off. The world, the world has, the, 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 the world is off. These GMO babies are off. All by the hand of Esau. But it's the Lord put, it, put, put that spirit on him, right? <clears throat> I wanted to get a... Uh... Right, it's the Lord put them, put them in power, right? <clears throat> Sirach 10 verse 1 points it four. A wise judge will instruct his people. <clears throat> a wise judge. There's no wisdom in, uh, in Esau's kingdom. Everything's off. And the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Prudent man. Wise. The government of a wise man is well ordered. That doesn't exist in this kingdom, man. Right? That's why Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai has to reset this place. Right? Verse 2. Sirach 10 verse 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, right? Who, who's the king of Babylon, right? As the judge of the people is himself. So everything that we see going on is, 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 is the fruits of the wicked, man. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. We see that. Verse 3. An unwise king destroyeth his people. Right? Ultimately, destruction is coming to this place. Right? These rulers ain't wise. They're off. Esau's off. He's vile. He's outside the temple. He's profane. Right? But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Here's the point. The power of the earth is in the hand of Yahweh. 
and in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable, right, in due time. And we're seeing the beginning of that, man, right? The earth, the, 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 this whole, this whole, this whole planet is, is off, right? Does it say under the whole of heaven? Let's get it. It's in Corinthians, if I'm not mistaken. Broneth. Right? That's why the Lord, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, has to come back, man. Right? Yashra is not in the right mind. Israel's not in the right mind on this side. Two thirds of our people's not in the right mind. Romans 8, verse 22. Not in the right mind. Right? Romans 8, verse 22, and it reads, For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. Right? The whole of creation groaneth, man. This place is off. Right? We need a physician. And who's the physician? Yahweh Shai. Isaiah 1, verse 3. <clears throat> and it reads, The ox knoweth his master. Salah. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel, Israel being a people for a place, doth not know, my people doth not consider. Right? Yes, I don't know who they are, man. Right? So we're out here calling, out here blowing the trumpet, telling Yasharala to repent. Matthew. Right, and some are going to hear and take heed. Matthew 11, verse 15, and it reads, red letter, our Lord said this. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But we're unto shall I like in this generation this generation man the two thirds of our people out here right this is what the Yahweh is liking in this generation too man you two thirds out here right it is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows right he's saying it is like children sitting in the markets and calling to their playmates man right and saying we have piped unto you and ye have not danced we have mourned unto you and ye have not lamented right they're not hearing it, man. And that's two-thirds of our people out here. Isaiah 1 verse 4. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. Right, you two-thirds, man. Laden with iniquity. Children that are corruptors. They have provoked. Salak. They have forsaken Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. Right? They're backwards, man. Right? And Jake, you got Jake out here thinking, you know? Jake out here calling on, do, 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 believing and do as thou wilt. Calling on these, uh, calling on idols. Right? Isaiah 4, I, Hosea, Hosea 4 and 6 says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. Isaiah 1, verse 5. Why should you be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint, right? So even though, even as much, as much as you get scourged, as much as you catch hell out here, Jay's gonna continue to buck up and revolt, revolt, man. Rebellious house. Stiff neck. Right? Um, this is Jake. Jake needs to repent. Right? Jake out here in the spirit of mirth.
Isaiah 2. Isaiah 2. Verse 3. Verse 1. We'll read in 1. The, verse, the point is in uh, Ezekiel chapter 2. Verse 1. The point's in uh, 5. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. He's talking to Ezekiel. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. Right? So the Spirit started supping with uh, Ezekiel, man. Right? The Raka, the Raka Kodash, the Holy Spirit. Right? Set me upon my feet. Meaning he got this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding. He's standing up now, man. Right? That I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I sent thee to the children of Israel. Right? This word's only for the elect. Yeah, we'll bang on Esau. We'll tell Esau what his judgment is. We'll tell these other nations what his judgment is. But this word, repentance, is only for the elect, man. The children of Israel. You, you, you so-called indigenous, you so-called Latino, you so-called Negro, right? To a rebellious nation that has rebelled against me. Right, Israel's rebellious, man. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day, right? And we're still paying for the sins of our, our forefathers, man. Right, reincarnation is real. Right, a rebellious, a rebellious people. For they are impudent. Let's look at this word impudent. I believe it's stupid or saddish. Impudent. Right? Israel is impudent. Impudent. Without shame. Casual disrespect. Improperly forward or bold, right? No shame, right? Impudent. For they, verse 4, Ezekiel 2, verse 4. For they are impudent children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh power. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Right, so whether they're going to hear it or not, man, we're supposed to tell Yasharala repent, man, and tell, the, and, 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 and tell them get right, whether they'll hear or forbear, man. Right, but they're not, the two-thirds of our people is not going to get right, man. For they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. Right, so when all hell starts to break loose, when the time of Jacob's trouble comes in, right, <laughs> when they start to see what the men of the Lord been saying, right? <laughs> then they're going to know that those are the men of the Lord prophesying. Ezekiel 33. Points in 33. Let's read 31. Ezekiel 33, verse 31. And they come unto thee as the people cometh and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. Right, Jake will come up. Yeah, brother, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Bill, I'll give you a pound a hand out. Yeah, I'm going to be back next week. Speak on, brother. Yeah, they, 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 you know, that's Jake. That's our planter, man. Right? But they won't do the, but they're not going to hearken. They're not going to listen to the words of Yahweh Shemoshai. For with their mouth they show much love. Right, that's Jake. Where can I find you at? Are you going to be here again? What's your email? What's your phone number? Right? That's Jake. Show much love with their mouth. But their heart goeth, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. Their minds after their covetousness, man. What's covetousness, man? What they lust after. Right? Covet, covet means to be, be greedy. Right? So what they what, what it is they want in this world. Is what they go after, right? Right, the love of the world. Verse 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely son of one that hath a pleasant voice, right? Because they'll stand up and listen, in some case, and nod their head agree in agreement, right? Most buck up, for, most buck up, but some will nod their head in agreement. 
but that's the first and last time you'll ever see them. They're not going to come back. They're not going to repent, right? And can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. They don't do the words, man. They don't, they don't hearken. Here's the point. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. When what cometh to pass? These prophecies, man. Right? Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Then they're going to know that what those men on the highways and hedges, those men that are pushing out them video epistles, then they're going to know that was the truth. But by then it's too late. Right? What does it say in Hosea 5 verse 15? Hosea 5, verse 15. Verse 14. For I will be unto Ephraim as a lion. Ephraim is, a, is the northern kingdom, man. You so called indigenous, you so called Latino, you so called you so called indigenous, you so called Latino. But Ephraim is Puerto Rico, right? But this is talking about the northern kingdom. And as a young lion to the house of Judah. Judah is the southern kingdom. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, man. Right? This is what the Lord's gonna, this is what the Lord has done and is going to do. Then we open up with uh the take away the wise men and the mighty man. This is why Jake don't know who they are, don't know what, what time we're in, right? I, even I, Yahweh, right? I even I is Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, will tear and go away. I will take away, and none shall rescue him, right? That's why two thirds of people out here is done. Unless they repent. Here's the point, verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Right. Right? Right? Not dealing with two thirds of our people, man. Right? It's only the elect that's acknowledged their, their offense and, and repented, man. It's only the elect that the most high Yahweh Shem is dealing with, man. Right? Verse 15, once again, Hosea 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Right? So once the affliction starts to hit, once, once a time like no other starts to hit Jacob's trouble, that's when you're going to hear uh, uh, two thirds trying to get right here, trying to pray. Right? But they're going to be calling on the wrong names. Right, what does it say in Judges? Right, and the Lord's not dealing with that, man. This is the book of Judges, chapter 10. The Lord's not dealing with that. Points of 14, verse 11. Judges 10, verse 11. And Yahweh said unto the children of Israel, right, once again, the Lord is establishing, the Lord is letting you know who he's dealing with, right? Did not I deliver you from the Egyptians and from the Amorites, from the children of Ammon and from the Philistines, the Zidonians also, and the Am Amalekites and the Maonites that oppress you and ye cried, and ye cried to me? And I delivered you out of their hand. Right, so Jake, all these captivities that Jake's been under. All these captivities that Jake's been under, what did they do? They cried to the Heavenly Father, man. Right? And what did the Most High do? Deliver them from all those captivities. Verse 13, Judges 10, verse 13. Yet ye have forsaken me, right? Turned their back on the Most High and did what? And served other gods. Wherefore I will deliver you no more. Verse 14, here's the point. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation, right? So this time is steadily approaching, man. And Jake won't be out here crying on. Idols. And the Lord Yahweh is not dealing with that, man. The Lord's name is Yahweh. 
In the Pale of Hebrew, meaning he exists. And his son's name, Yahweh Shai. In the Pale of Hebrew, meaning he delivers, he saves. Right? If you're not calling on those names, you know, you're not going to be covered in that time, man. Right? You're not going to be covered. Ezekiel 9 verse 4 And the Lord, Yahweh, said unto him The angel, he's talking to the angel Go through the midst of the city Through the midst of Jerusalem And set a mark upon the foreheads Of the men that sigh And that cry For all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof Right, so that's the ceiling Right, and who's sighing and crying? The elect, Lord willing we have that number man It's the elect that, have, uh, that know the names man That mark is a spiritual mark A thawab Mark of exemption, but it's only those crying on the true names are going to have that mark. Lord willing, we're of that number. The hopeful elect, we say that humbly, right? Because the Lord, the Lord's about to unleash horrific judgments. Verse 5 And to the others, he said, in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Right? Smite who? You wicked two-thirds, man. Let not your eyes spear, neither have ye pity. No mercy, no pity. Right? These are death angels that are going to rule through two-thirds of our people. Doing what? Verse 6. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. Right? And women. Right? This is the death angel that's about to roll through, man. Old and young, maids and little children, and women. Right? We're dealing with a, we're dealing with a, uh, a terrible power, man. The precept just came to mind. Right, he's not going to play around when he, when he, when he, when he shows his face, when he shows his, uh, wrath. It's in Psalm 66. Yep. The water, y'all, but Shimon Shai. The water. Brought the precept into my mind, man. The water. Psalm 66, verse 5. Come and see the works of Yahweh. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. Right, he's terrible in his doing. So if, if uh, children, of, children of men of these other nations, so what's he going to do to the two-thirds of our people, man? If he's terrible in his doing towards the children of men, these, these heathen nations. Two-thirds of our people are about to get it, man. Right? Ezekiel 9, verse 6. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man Upon whom is the mark And begin at my sanctuary Then they began at the ancient men Which were before the house Right so Two thirds of our people are going to get judged Right And one third of our people Those with the mark Are going to be covered with the hedge in that day man The mark of exemption man Right First Peter four. Verse seventeen. And it reads, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house 
of Yahweh, right? Who's the house of Yahweh Bashim on Shai? Israelites. Right? Beginning with be, be, the judgment gonna be, begin with those that know they're Israelites, right? And if it first begin at us, right, those that know they're Israelites, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? Right? What shall be the end of what? These wicked two-thirds. These two-thirds that scoff. Right? Buck up. Right? Verse 18. And if the righteous, the elect, scarcely be saved, scarcely, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? You two-thirds, man. Right? It's about to get wicked out here, man. For two-thirds of our people, man. Right? Repent. Two-thirds out here. In that spirit of mirth. Right? Not hearkening, not listening, right? Not hearing that that, that, that that these judgments, horrific judgments, are about to go forth, man. And what are some of these judgments, man? Famine, sword, right? This is what's coming for you, indigenous, you, you Latino, you so called indigenous, you so called Latino, you so called Negro. Two thirds of our people. Second Ezra 9. Verse 9, and it reads, Then shall they be in a pitiful case. Two thirds of our people, man. They're going to be in a pitiful case, man. Along with these heathen nations suffering out here, starving to death, eating one another. Right? Marauders and militias out here. Right? Two thirds of our people, along with these heathen nations, are going to be in a pitiful case. Pitiful. Right, your woman out here gonna be uh, no feminine products, no hygiene, no nails, right? No expensive apparel, right? No weave in your hair for you Judite woman, and you Levite woman, and you Benjamite, Benjamite woman, Benjaminite woman. This is what's coming. pitiful case and the men the men gonna be out here killing one another <clears throat> famine's a famine's gonna be a big 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 serious thing coming man and that's in the pipeline it's on our doorstep second verse 9 verse 9 then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways you two-thirds and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments right those that you know Nah, man, white man wrote the Bible. Nah, I ain't hearing that, man. Th those two-thirds, man. Do as thou wilt. Kemet. Those two-thirds. Verse 10. And it reads. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. You two-thirds, man. Right? Benefits. Outer doing as thou wilt. Living off the hog, so to speak. Right? Right? Your consolation. Let's get that. Laugh now, cry later. Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 6. Verse 24. Red letter, our Lord said this, Yahweh Shai. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Rich on this side, man. Woe unto you, woe means destruction, that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Right, and this is what's coming. Right? This is what's coming for two thirds of our people, as well as these, along with these heathen nations. Right? Mass starvation, mass death, right? People gonna start. People gonna fight over who gets to eat the child. Right? Back in uh, Second Ezra, chapter nine. Verse ten, and it reads. For such as in their life have received benefits 
and have not known me, right? Two thirds, man. Receive benefits, man. Esau's benefits. Esau's job. Right? Ultimately, it's the will of the Lord. Right? Ultimately, it's the will of the Lord. Let's get that. This rock, I believe, is a 39. Right? But you haven't known the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Death. Let's get that. Right. Sirach 11, verse 14. And it reads, Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches, come of the Lord. Right? So, those that receive benefits on this side and not knowing the Lord, woe unto you, man. It all comes of the Lord, man. Two thirds of our people, two thirds of our people out here don't know this. Don't know this, man. Right? Right? Two thirds have this term. I, I did this. I made myself. Self-made. Right? So the Lord, man. Second Ezra nine verse ten. Once again, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Verse eleven, and they hath loathed my law. While they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Right, place of repentance. And how is this place of repentance open unto you, man? By the words, of, by the words of Yahweh Shimei Oshai, through the mouth of the prophets. Right, and you're going to continue going on, not hearkening. Isaiah 65 verse 12. Therefore, when I number you to the sword, two thirds. And ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Right? Because a great slaughter is coming, man. There's going to be martial law out here. Military troops out here. Marauders and militias. Because when I called... When who called? Yahweh Shemi Shai. And how did he call? Through the mouths of his prophets, man. Ye did not answer. When I speak, ye did not hear. But did evil before mine eyes. And they choose... And to choose that we're in, I delighted not. Right? You continued on in your wickedness, man. Right? Yeah? I weren't a heavy time Passover just passed. You know, we're in the Passover week. We're in the Feast of Unleavened Bread right now. We're in a heavy time. Every time the Passover passes, things get heavier and heavier, man. We're about to, we're about to see some heaviness. Some real heavy... Big time thing gonna happen, man. 2022, the year of the turn up. Right? Isaiah 65, verse 13. Matter of fact, let's get a preset. Psalm 37, verse 19. Verse 18. Verse 17. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken. Who are the wicked, man? Wicked two-thirds. Right? These Edomites. Right? For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but Yahweh upholdeth 
The righteous, right? It's only the elect, man. That is upheld in, uh, that's going to be upheld in these times that are coming, man. Right? The arms of the wicked shall be broken, man. Right? So two-thirds of the people as well as these heathen nations, along with the wicked, they're going to be they're going to be destroyed in these times that are coming, man. Pestilence going to catch them. A missile going to catch them, ultimately. You know, if you're reserved for a missile, you're wicked, man. You know? Famine, sword. Right? Verse 18. Psalms 37, verse 18. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, the elect, Lord willing of that number, and their inheritance shall be forever, right? A kingdom that shall not, not be, not be destroyed. Doesn't it say, uh, joint heirs with Hamashiach, but the kingdom will never be destroyed, man, or translated to another. Right? It says the saints, Daniel, chapter 2. Verse 44. No, that's not the one I wanted. I want Daniel 7. Yeah, Daniel 7 verse 18. But the saints of the Most High were the saints, the elect. Israel as a whole, but on this side, the elect. Shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom Forever, even forever and ever, right? And that's gonna happen under Yahweh Shai. Right? That's gonna happen under Hamashiach. Psalms 37, verse 19. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, right? The elect shall not be ashamed in the evil time. Evil means bad times, right? Jacob's trouble, a time like no other. His elect shall not be ashamed. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. They shall be satisfied. They're going to eat. <clears throat> Lord willing, we're at that number. <clears throat> that's why we come out here and do what we do. Week in, week out. That's why we come out here. That's why we post these epistles during the week. Out of fear of the times that's coming. Right? <clears throat> out of fear. Isaiah 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Right. Two thirds going to be hungry, along with these heathen nations. One third, the hopeful elect, Lord willing over that number, are going to eat. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Right. We just read in Psalm 37. They shall not be ashamed in that evil time. His elect will not be ashamed in that evil time. Right? Job 5, verse 19. Right, the Lord is going to deliver his elect. Right? We're just doing what's commanded of us, preaching his word. Right? Preaching this word. Crying aloud, spirit not. We're blowing the trumpet. Right? Because the Lord said, before he makes a move, he's always going to send his, send his men, Lord willing, we're at that number, to warn and prophesy. Let's get that. Jeremiah 28. Right? And Jake, two thirds out here walking up and down. They're out here. They'll look, they'll snicker. They'll keep them moving. Jeremiah 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me, right, the prophets that were before Jeremiah, and before thee of old, prophesied both against many countries. Right? And that's what we're out here doing, man. Prophesying against many countries. We're out here prophesying the downfall of America the Great, Babylon the Great. Right? And against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, right? And these are the times we're in, man. War, evil, and pestilence. Right? <clears throat> right? These are the times we're about to enter in, in, into, right? And this skirmish 
this skirmish over there in Europe right now is going to wax worse and worse, right? And we're going to see the we're going to see the the, the the side effects over here on the West, right? Right? Price of oil is going up, right? The price of uh, the cost of living is going up. Revelation chapter six. Verse five, and it reads. And when, this is the vision of John, the vision of the angel, what he saw. And when he had opened the third seal, the third seal, when he saw the angel open the third seal, what's his third seal? Famine. Right? Famine. This is what's coming. It's on our doorstep. Right? You're going to see people out here kill, kill for, 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 for for castaway food, for for rubbish pan food, food that's in the garbage. People are gonna be going through dumpsters, man. And when he had opened the third seal, that third seal is famine, I heard the third beast say, come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse, right? A black horse, bad times. We're about to enter into evil times. The black horse is symbolic of bad times, right? These are the times that are coming, man, right? You think, you think pestilence is done? Pestilence ain't done, right? You think this, uh, this emic is done? Something worse in the pipeline is about, about to show itself, right? And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand, right? And the balance is signifies judgment, man. So great judgment's about to go forth by way of famine and evil times, man. Verse 6. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny. A measure of wheat. What's wheat? Flour, food, a staff of bread. A measure of wheat. A little bit of wheat for a penny. In the ancient world, a penny was a day's wage. During the Roman Empire, a penny was, a, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, was the wage of a, a Roman, uh, a member of the legion, Roman legion, a soldier, a day's wage. It just said here, a measure of wheat for a penny. It's going to cost a day's wage or more for a slice of bread, man. If that, that's inflation. Right? And Jake out here want to get in that mirth spirit. Like this is going to go on forever. The Lord said he's going to done this place. And three measures of barley for a penny. Three measures of barley for a day's wage, right? And see, thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And the oil and the wine, the oil and the wine is symbolic of the elect. His elect will not be hurt in that day, man. Right? His elect will not be hurt in that day. Job chapter 5, verse 19. He shall, a matter of fact, verse 18. For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth and his hands make whole. Right, the Lord, man. The Lord, the Lord <laughs> decides whether or not he's going heal you and heal you or break you down, man. Right? The Lord, the, the, the Lord, Yahweh B'Shem Yashai does all these things, man. This is something that white attack avoids, refuses to acknowledge, right? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Deliver who? The elect in six troubles. What are these six troubles? Jacob's trouble. Evil times. Evil meaning bad times, right? Matthew 24, Yahweh Shai said a time like not, no other. No, no ever, let's get it. Matthew 24, Verse 21, red letter, our Lord said this. For then shall be great tribulation, right? Bad times, man. 
great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world, such as was not since the beginning of the world, right? To this time, to the time when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, no, nor ever shall be, right? A time that is coming ne like never before. Right? Like never before. Right? That's the six troubles we're talking about here in Job 5 verse 19. That's the six troubles. Right? Job 5 verse 19 once again. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Right? And what's that seventh trouble, man? Nuclear fire, man. The missiles. That's the seventh trouble. Right? The electric will be beamed up. Lord willing, we have that number. Right? In, in uh, Wisdom of Solomon. It says the strangers of the salvation. Right? And these other nations are going to witness this, man. Wisdom of Solomon 5 verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. When they see what? The deliverance. When they see these chariots, Yahweh shine the holy angels, crack the sky. Right? These other nations are going to be troubled with terrible fear. Matthew 24, verse 30, verse 29, red letter. Yahweh Shai said this. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, that time of Jacob's trouble, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven. Right? That's the new, the, the star. What's going to cause the sun, the sun to be darkened and the moon not, not to shine? The nuclear fire, right? The nuclear missiles, right? And the stars shall fall from heaven. That's the uh, that, that's the uh, the missiles. And the powers of heaven shall be shaken. The powers of heaven is 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 Esau, Esau's power structure, man, right? Salak, salak. Let me read that again. Matthew twenty four verse twenty nine. Immediately after the tribulation of those days. The evil times, Jacob's trouble. Shall the sun be darkened? The missiles will cause the sun to be darkened. And the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven. That's the that's the that's a collapsing of Esau's power structure, man. It's gonna fall from the heights, from being the pinnacle, from being the benchmark, from being the ruler, right? And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, right? Esau's power structure. These ruling class elites, these banking families. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, Yahweh shine the angels, gonna crack the sky in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. They're gonna be in fear. We read that in Wisdom of Solomon 5, verse 2. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, the chariots, what the world even cause you foes, of heaven with power and great glory. Here's the point. And he shall send his angels, right? The angels in the chariots, what the world even cause you foes with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. Only the elect are going to get beamed up, man. The chariots are going to gather together. The angels in the chariots are going to gather together his elect. From the four winds, four winds, the four corners of the earth, from one end of heaven to the other, right? Thus said the scriptures, man. Right? And our enemies are going to be held in. Revelation 11 Verse 12, and they heard a great voice from heaven. The elect heard the great voice. That's going to be the, 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 the sound of the trumpet from the chariots, right? Saying unto them, unto who? The elect, come up hither. That's the beaming up. And they ascended up to heaven. Ascended. What does it mean to ascend? To rise up, snatch up into heaven. They ascended up to heaven. The elect did. In a cloud, a chariot. And their enemies beheld them the enemies who are enemies Psalms 83 goes into it beginning with Esau Edom but also these other nations man right their enemies beheld them this coincides with wisdom of Solomon 5 verse 2 when they see it they shall be troubled right back into wisdom of Solomon 5 verse 2 when they see it they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. They're going to be amazed at the chariots beaming up. The elect 
who, 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 who these other nations call proverbs and bywords, niggas and spicks, wetbacks, terms of reproach, right? So far beyond all that they look for, and they repenting and, and groaning for anguish of spirit, right? These heathen nations are going to be anguish of spirit, man. We just read in Revelation chapter 11, and their, and their enemies beheld them shall say within themselves is what they're going to be saying this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach right this is that nigga this is that wet bat that speak that savage this is what they're going to be saying saying man these 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 other nations verse four we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of Yahweh? And his lot is among the saints, right? How, how is this man getting beamed up? Right? This is prophecy. Thus said the scriptures. Yeah, that's it on them. You know? Pray edified. You know? We're, at that, we're, 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 we're about to enter into the, the, the end times, man. You know? We're about to enter into the time like no other, man. Stay prayed up, prayed out, see some. Brakafi Yahawa. Brakafi Yahawa Shai. Bahasem. Raka. Kadash. Kwame Asharala. Wa. Abad. Babal.